what would you say about those two triangles? You believe one is half? You believe one's half? Yeah. Yes, you're convinced of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how would we describe them? When you say they're half, are they the same shape? Yes. But you're saying they're half the size. Yes. So does that mean they're similar? they're similar? Is their area half the previous area or are their sides half the size? Is that different or the same? Teaching is progressive. There's that progression that you have before you get to the end concept. So quite often we're in a rush because I've got a limited amount of time. Right, we're going to talk, I'm going to tell you how to do percentages. No, there's a whole lot of work before that. The aim of the program is to develop the teacher's own pedagogical content knowledge and their enthusiasm for mathematics, their belief that every child can learn, getting that extra confidence when they go into the classroom. One of the focuses that we have is that the answer's not important, it's the process and how we get there. So quite often the question would be, why does that work? And quite often because it's an algorithm, they're not sure. So we always encourage those teachers to say, how would you explain that to a child who doesn't know the algorithm so that it makes sense to them? Because mathematics is about making sense. Problem solving has that multi-entry. So I can work with a group of children who don't quite understand, can't see the pattern. And I get the kids going, can we, can we keep going? Can we keep going? Music to a teacher's ears. That to me is fantastic. And that's what you want kids to say about maths. I think doing problem solving activities really sets that up that you're looking at different contexts, not can you do this sheet at this time? And I'm using the problem solving as a way of getting the discussion around the concepts and around the problems themselves. A half, how do you actually know that? Are you just folding? Is there another strategy? Or are we just folding? How can we work it out? What about if we weren't allowed to fold? Okay, have a think about it. Measure it, I like that word. Yeah, Good, out. draw, okay. Work out the middle first. Work out the middle, good ideas. We had a really uh, intensive and sustained period of professional development, um, which I ran and facilitated for, for staff across the school from foundation right through to year seven. We've already seen an immediate uh, impact. Student outcomes and, and achievement have improved. Uh, disposition has, has changed. The thinking and the relationship students have around maths has, has, has certainly changed too.